Today, I'll expose shocking evidence that Sony Corporation is trying to subvert the youth of America through a seemingly innocent MP3 player. So grab hold of your P2P clients, folks, because I'm about to perform an upload. Hey, you mind? I'm gonna work out here. Oh, it's the, uh... This is Sony's NWE 003FP. That's the one gig version of its USB plug-in style Walkman branded MP3 player. Overall, it's a very well-built MP3 player with an easy access USB connection on one end and its headphone jack on the other. This is what's known as a flash MP3 player. That's an MP3 player that uses flash memory as opposed to a micro hard drive generally found on larger capacity devices like this 60 gig iPod. You can also use this Walkman as a USB flash drive. Just uncap the USB port and you can plug it into a USB port at any PC or laptop computer for instant portable storage. Flash memory is also called solid state, meaning it has no moving parts. But there's a rift among gadget heads, those who accept the micro hard drive for its lower cost on one side, and on the other, those who will only accept flash storage, despite the higher price. The real reason consumer electronics manufacturers are scrambling to produce affordable flash memory is because of its low power consumption, which is a key advantage that flash memory has over the micro hard drive. Now, as far as reliability goes, it's always been my contention that both of these methods of storage are equally unreliable if I were to work them over with this hammer. As a Sony Walkman brand MP3 player, this is a premium device. It costs about as much as an iPod Shuffle and has roughly the same sound quality. Both Walkman and Shuffle have surprising frequency response in comparison to budget solid state MP3 players like those sold by SanDisk or Insignia. One unique feature I have to applaud in this device is a very intuitive, non-Apple navigation system. It consists of a home or back button and a rocker switch. Clearly, Sony didn't decide to simply give it a click wheel knockoff and call it a day. It looks like they put some thought into this design. With its one gig storage capacity, this MP3 player is designed to go up against Apple's iPod Shuffle. But I have to admit, it is an all around more stylish MP3 player which leads me to my problem with the device. What is Sony really trying to do by releasing a pink Walkman? This isn't a Walk Lady. This is a Walkman. Shame on you, Sony, for promoting your alternative lifestyle agenda through gadgets. Sony has produced the first openly gay MP3 player. Now, don't get me wrong here. I don't judge people by their sexual orientation. In fact, Ryan, why don't you go ahead and show them that picture of me with my gay friend? Now this is Lance Bass and I. The picture was taken before anybody knew, but that hasn't changed our friendship in the slightest. We always thought of Lance as a real man's man, and well, we still do. Maybe I'm old fashioned in this way, but I don't think it's the job of big consumer electronics corporations like Sony to promote lifestyles to our youth. That's already the job of MTV music videos and Academy Award winning Hollywood movies. But tell me what you think. Leave a comment in the blog at gizmocafe.com.